me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is a second installment on a program called Box It, made by Laser Jumpstart. And I'm not going to go into great details about the product. You need to probably back up and go watch the second video. But there's, I mentioned in the other video, there, there's a lot of other things inside of the Box It program that you get. And one of them is to make a shape like that. And I've sanded off the edges because when you, these are called finger joints. And when you put them at an angle, part of the joints are actually going to stick over. And this would be the case. You'd want to make your tabs, you know, tell you, tell the computer that your, your wood's a little thicker. So they'll actually stick past them a little bit. And then you can sand them off. And that's not the main reason for the video tonight. But I was just going to show you how quick uh, you can make something like this. So here's my box it deal. And here's your normal box it. But here is pedestal. So we're going to make a pedestal. And unlike box it, you don't need a to draw a box at first. You just need to go to pedestal and then put in all the parameters. You want it to be, you know, one inch tall. You want it three inches wide by four inches. So we're going to make it pretty square. So we're going to change it to three. You know, it's an eighth inch wood. The kerf is 0 0.04 that works really good most of the time. You know, your tab width, we could change it to 0.25. Make it a little bit smaller. Uh, I like to everything in red, so I'm going to change this to red. And then all you do is hit OK, hit OK, and there's your. This is your bottom. This is your top, and here's your four sides. And it puts together really easy. Now it did put the labels, and you can back up here and and tell it that you don't want the labels. I don't want to label the parts because I actually draw a hairline. You could have it without a lid. So let's do this one without a lid. And there's your box it. So your top edge is flat. It doesn't have the finger joint. So it, it can make a little, this would be pretty neat for a gift. It would make a little ring holder. But that's truly not the, I have some, the reason I'm doing this video, I had somebody ask me about, I mentioned that I use surgical tubing to clamp because there's no way to put any kind of clamps on this. And the joints are really so tight that once they're pressed together, you don't really need it. But to give that little extra ump, you can buy surgical tubing. I use this a lot in woodworking. You can get it almost anywhere. Amazon, I would suggest getting a 3 8 inch and get about 25 feet of it. It's not very expensive. I actually used to use this product as a child to launch uh, gliders up in the air because it's, it's elasticity is unbelievable and it doesn't break and you can stretch it out forever. But the good thing using it for clamps, the glue does not stick to it. And you can sell, you can tell how old my surgical tubing is, but I just, you know, laid it over and, and started winding it loosely and then started going other direction and it holds it together just a little bit better, maybe a little bit tighter while your glue's drying. So I hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.